I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you viewers wherever you are watching from. Today I'm going to present yet another important topic that the church needs to know. This information will help the church to pray as they will understand the events that are coming. Today I'm not, I'm not going to get into details scriptural, but I'm going to give you the information, the framework of what is going on. For most of us believers, we understand that Jesus Christ is coming back again. And for those who are expecting Jesus to come again, they are preparing themselves. However, we need also to watch and see the events that are taking place. The information that I'm going to present is not an information, is not the information that is a secret. Number one, the scripture have revealed what shall come concerning the Antichrist. Number two, some of the information is out there. For those who can do research, they will find it on the internet. The information that I want to give uh, to the church and everyone who is listening is information that will help the church to watch and pray as the events are unfold because there is a one world order in making. However, today I'm going to look particularly on the one world religion that is in formulation. It is a public secret that in Abu Dhabi there in Emirates, uh, Arab Emirates, uh, up there in Arab nation, there is a construction of what they are calling the world, uh, the world uh, church, the world religion church, one world religion church, so to speak. It is underway and uh, the target is that in this 2022, this church should be opened. And I want you to listen and to understand to the details surrounding the construction of this church. They are trying to build something that are what they are calling that can tolerate every religion without looking at one religion like one church. So they came together, the representative of Muslim leaders and one of the synagogues of the Jews and Pope Francis. I specifically mentioned Pope Francis because he is one of the facilitator of these things. Now they are calling it um, um, Abrahamic synagogue, if I'm not mistaken, the name of the church, I'll confirm it, but uh, this church has got three, is going to have three uh, church in one premises or in, in one complex. It is going to have um, uh, this mosque, number one, and it's going to have um, a synagogue and also a church. Now, what is fun in this is that the church that is going to be built there is not allowed to put the cross. Uh, yes, the name of the church, the name of the church is going to be called Abrahamic Family House. It is, it is being built in Ireland of one of these Arabic nations. Now, what they are trying to do is that they want to say, we want to bring all religions in one and no one should accuse or attack one religion. But what is fun also in this uh, setup is that people, some other people are not allowed, especially the, is the Muslims, to convert to Christianity and some will be advocating that they'll be killed. Now, I want you to see something that is taking place as One World Religion Headquarters is being built. This is what they are calling One World Religion Headquarters. This is going to facilitate something that the Bible has spoken already because in this, there is going to be restrictions of how people should worship. There are going to be restrictions of how the Church of Jesus Christ operates as instructions and orders are going to come from this one world religion headquarters so this will now facilitate the coming of antichrist 
because what they are trying to say they saying they are saying we want to bring peace starting from the religion at the same time they are also trying to say this is going to facilitate peace in the world remember the bible also tells us in Thessalonica that when they say peace peace then we need to watch and it is coming with the name of peace one of the things that is going to happen is that uh, as we know that the Jews are still expecting the coming of the Messiah for the first one they rejected him who is Jesus Christ so when these conflicts are going to continuously taking place in the middle east there uh, this is going to facilitate uh, the dialogues of peace and one of the, uh, the the mechanisms that is going to be used is through this one world religion and because the messiah is being expected the jews are going to welcome anything that will talk about peace in order to finish this uh, conflict that will be happening in the middle east now the antichrist who is coming is coming with a very deceptive way in the name of peace and as for some of the people just to uh, <clears throat> to correct because i once taught this um, uh, this 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 topic during lockdown he is not uh, coming uh, as pop like people say pop is going to be antichrist no because the jews are expecting a jewish anti uh, a jewish a Jewish Messiah or someone who is going to come from the Arabic nation who has something similar to them as of bloodline so he's not going to come through whatever means people will say is this president this president is going to be Antichrist the Antichrist must match some of the characteristics that the Jews can accept that's why even the synagogue is also in this one world religion that's why the Muslims are also in this in this uh, in this one world uh, religion headquarters so that it will be easy to facilitate someone who will come in the name of peace now there's something that is very interesting that people and the church need to know that uh, uh, this is not only the development that happened last year if I'm not mistaken there's an information that came out of a statue that was made by someone if it I'm sure if he's not from South America and this statue was presented and was installed at the entrance in the front of UN headquarters and the statue as you are seeing it on your screen um, is a very description according to Daniel and the book of Daniel chapter 7 and also according to the book of Revelation chapter 13 the description of this statue is exactly as it was described and I want you to understand that this statue was said is a statue of peace now it is the description of an animal of a beast uh, that was described as coming from the waters like a leopard with the features of an uh, of, of, of a lion and also the foot like of a bear with also the wings of eagles if you read chapter 7 of Daniel and also chapter 13 of Revelation from verse 2 you will see the description exactly as this statue that is flashing on your screen now this is the statue uh, the, that which they are calling the statue of peace although it was removed these are warning shots it is portraying what is coming because the bible has explained what this statue means and the, the kingdoms and the kings that are coming from there so i want you to understand the times and the season that we are in this information is not here to give you fear but it is an information that should prepare the church this is not something that is going to take place uh, tomorrow or next month although we had many theories during lockdown when some of the people saying the mark of the beast is here some were pointing to uh, a vaccine some were pointing to coronavirus but uh, the scriptures are very clear these were just uh, mechanisms testers to see what the world 
will do the reaction of the world but the real thing is coming this is not uh, to bring us into a, a, an atmosphere of fear for those who believe the Bible prophecies there's nothing to fear because the Bible says these things are going to come and are going to be fulfilled we, need, we only need to know uh, and to read the time and the season although we may not know exactly the exact date when Christ comes but we can read all these signs so I want you to understand that the issue of one world order is coming because they have already started to put things in mechanisms let me also share something that is very important uh, you will see that there are going to be leaders who are going to advocate for one for the unity of continents, unit of nations, in their innocence and sincerity, they may not know that their ideas are going to be used for the advantage of those who have a bigger agenda of uniting all the nations to be one, to be under one government. As they, the nations are going to come together, this is going to facilitate one leadership and all other who become like governors and little leaders with no say, with no much power. And they will introduce one currency and one ideas. This is where now these issues of now the theories that are coming of the mark of the beast, of the chips and so forth that were, has been in circulation where people were discussing about who come into existence as this world is coming together in trying to facilitate that which will cause the nation to be one world government, one world religion, and one world doing of things. So why am I sharing this uh, information? This information will help us as the church to preach the gospel with much passion and to understand the seasons and the time that we are in that indeed Christ Jesus Christ, the, our Lord Jesus Christ is coming back again. The scripture is very clear that the coming of Jesus Christ will not happen until, until the son of perdition is revealed. That man of perdition, the son uh, who is, is the, the Antichrist, and the Bible was referring to Antichrist. So this is in, in Thessalonica that he is coming and when he comes and when he is revealed then jesus christ will come thank god for those who are preparing themselves because when these things are going to testify here on earth the church is going to be raptured for those who want to hear more about the events that are going to take in terms of rapture and the event that are going to happen when the church is raptured and those who are going to be left behind you may go and also listen to my teaching uh, and you'll find the links there where I uh, where I, 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 I taught about the uh, spiritual timetable of the church the rapture of Vutuakwe church uh, there's part one and part two although these videos did not have much um, uh, views and they did not they did not manage to get to people but you may still watch and listen to them but there's a mixture of language that is Shona and English but still you can you can learn uh, some of the very important uh, teachings or topics that I was discussing there I taught this subject uh, during lockdown when some of our members were phoning and asking pastor can you tell us we are receiving information and people are saying this coronavirus is, 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 is a, it's, it's a mark of the beast can you tell us so I tried to share and I told them that this is not the mark of the beast and this is just something that will try maybe to shake the world and to see and to test and the, the enemy also wanted to test waters as they he saw that the world can scramble and come in one and under one you know command is people were not doing anything okay I, I don't want to get into that but uh, all these are signs in the preparation of what is real and what is coming. So I want you to understand that we are already in the last days. You remember one day before the Lord is like thousand years. 
So when we talk of these things, I don't want to be misquoted as uh, as some or who were quoted as saying Jesus Christ is coming next month and they have already calculated the debts. Here I'm not calculating the debts. I, but what I know is that we are already in a season where Antichrist is staging and putting his things in place. So for those who want to uh, check the information that I'm, 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 I'm sharing, you can go to the internet. You Google One World Church headquarters. You see it. This is nothing to hide about. This is not about a, a prophecy that is hidden. These are biblical prophecies that are manifesting gradually, gradually. If you want to see the Statue of Peace that was installed at UN, United Nations, and was removed, you will see it still on internet. The reason why some of us will get this information on internet is because we are very quick to understand and to know what the Bible says. And when we see certain things happen, we we'll quickly um, f we'll quickly uh, relate with what the scriptures say. So it's not something that we can say we are trying to craft or to build here because biblical prophecies we can't change. Here I'm not prophesying anything. I'm just presenting biblical prophecies that we are moving there. So let me encourage those who have not given their life to Jesus Christ. This is a time to prepare for yourself so that you're not caught on the wrong side. Jesus Christ is coming back again. And the worst of the things that we have not have had are going to come and are going to happen. Men, some will say, do not say these things. These things should not be spoken. You bring fear. One of the things the devil is managing to do is to silence the church and to cause people not to know and uh, for people to continue in ignorance so that he can work his plan and when the church is in the dark. For those who understand the scriptures, there's nothing to fear because God himself promised a blessed hope that the church is going to be raptured. It's only those who have no hope, who actually who, who do not want to take that hope in Christ or to be in Christ so that they can have that hope. Here, I'm also giving uh, an opportunity to someone who has not given his life to Jesus Christ, that this is the time to make your life right. When the first flight comes, when the church is raptured, when the um, events of the world are going to take place, you will also find yourself probably amongst those, the saints that are going to be lifted from this world. When the real... Um, difficulties and tribulations uh, is going to take place. So I thought it is very important for me to come to you and to speak to the church and to the world that there are events that are before us and uh, we need to know and to understand. Um, and uh, this world order, um, this world, one world uh, religion headquarters that is being built, uh, the, if you read the information is targeting in suppressing the church more than anything else. And there is also an element of killing even those who are going to be converted to be Christians. So as the much as they'll be saying there'll be tolerance, but there are certain laws that were mentioned or certain agreements that are not going by what they are saying. So it's just a cover. It's just something that is going uh, to be used to attack the church and I'm here so that the to, to alert the church that let us watch and pray so that we will not be caught on our way and it is time for us to preach the gospel not faking the gospel not trying to build empires around the church of God but preaching the good news of salvation so that people be saved it is very important for us to watch the season and to know what we should do. May you continue to pray for men's souls to come to the Lord and to come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. We cannot escape biblical prophecies for it is coming as the Bible says, truly, Jesus Christ, the soon coming King is coming. But before that, a system of one world order 
is cunning and the church should get prepared in preaching the gospel and also watch and pray. God bless you for listening to this presentation. Let's continue to pray for the salvation of many people. If you are a believer, get prepared. Live right. Make your life straight before the Lord. Not fear, but just make sure that you are in the right standing with the Lord. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, it's time to make serious decision so that you find the grace of salvation in him. God bless you. Remain under his cover. In Jesus' name. Amen.